I wasn't expecting to make this video. Honestly, this is a rather personal matter that I wasn't even thinking about sharing with my audience. In my hand, I'm holding a letter that was left by my girlfriend several years ago. It is still sealed, I have never read it. Knowing her, she would have tried to have convinced me to come back, but during that time I had went MGTOW. I was still fresh and new to the ideology and I did not want to tempt myself to go back to the blue pill philosophy, or at least the mentality. Now that it is seven years later, with my audience, with my brothers, so that we can see how manipulative women are, and after I read the letter, I will systematically break down and show you exactly how these women think and how they try to manipulate a man's heart to get the resources, to get him to die, to get him to do all the evil things that you would see in a science fiction movie, much like The Matrix. As a MGTOW, you guys understand how important The Matrix is to all of this. In my mind, Morpheus is a hero, but that's a story for another time. Let me go ahead and read this letter. I hope you get this letter before you move to your new apartment. I wanted to let you know that I still love you despite the fact that your penis is only 1.5 inches long and having sex with you feels approximate to lesbian sex. Honestly, that never bothered me because I knew that you loved me. And while you may not have been long enough for us to actually conceive a child, we could have easily solved that using artificial insemination. Please don't take this as me putting you down, my dear. I loved the quasi-man-woman-lesbian relationship that we had together. That is why I never showed an interest in women. With you, I had everything I needed at home. I had a man, well, maybe a woman, with a set of rather sizable man breasts which made role-playing rather interesting, if you ask me. The fact that you licked my pussy like a carpenter using sandpaper across the surface of a brick wall never really bothered me. You had a rather gifted tongue, and when I say gifted, I of course mean retarded. Teaching you how to properly pleasure me was like teaching a three-year-old child how to do algebraic equations. But the fact that you always tried your best is the very thing that stood out for me. I was never truly bothered by any of your shortcomings, and let's face it, it only took you a short amount of time to come before you convulsed between my legs like a spastic man-child. Despite the fact that you never sought to improve yourself, I was still willing to stand by you by my husband, as so many other women have, and live a long, dull life devoid of any sexual fulfillment simply because I loved you. But something happened. You became obsessed with watching MGTOW videos, and on some level I could not blame you. Despite my broken smile that was meant to retain your dignity, I knew that you were aware of your own flaws. I've been with you for over a decade and no one else knows your stubbornness like I do. No one knows how prideful and yet lazy you are, but honestly, I do not care. I was willing to make you happy because I knew you wanted me to be happy. After several months of you watching the MGTOW Drek that only taught you to cover up your problems, to turn away from any opportunity to truly improve yourself, not just for me, but for your own pride and dignity, much like the god-awful feminists that we mutually abhorred, you began to fully transition into a stubborn beta male, unwilling to face the truth of reality. If you accept that I accept you, then respond to this letter. Let me know if you want me to come back to you. I will guide you through the darkness. And I mean that literally, given that you're unemployed and you most likely have not paid the light bill. I hope you're not cold, naked, and starving, living without the resources that I was bringing to the table. The very thought of you being in any pain causes me to feel pain as well. I hope you take this letter as intended, my love. I will await your call, my dearest Gaylord Humperdinck. She doxed me. She fucking doxed me. As I'm eager to be in your life again. Take care of yourself, my love. Shannon XOXO. What a vicious bitch. She doxed me. She doxed my penis size. She berates me. She belittles me. This is what she did when she was with me. I am a man. And I will not be berated like this. Now my entire YouTube audience knows that I only have a 1.5 inch penis. Good God. This is absolute bullshit. And too many people have seen this already. There's no way to delete the video. This is proof, my brothers. This is proof that what these women will do to you. She doxed my penis size. She doxed my very name. And you know those people out there especially that goddamned alien Zephanorian is going to make a video about my small penis 
and my flaws and my insecurities and try to paint a picture that that is the problem that I'm having and it's not an actual philosophy that I'm believing in that I have decided to live my life by. I think the only thing I can do at this point is end it. Right here on the live stream, I'm going to end it. I'm going to take control of my life. I am not going to let women try and kill me. I will kill myself before I allow women to kill me. And to me, this makes absolute sense. Absolute sense. Where's my firearm? Ah, oh, here it is. Let me just get it loaded. Shannon, and I know you're probably watching this, and this is going to be on you. Because that's what MGTOW is about. It's about making you feel bad about what you do to me. You vindictive bitch. You killed me. I can't believe that you doxed my fucking penis to the entire world. You think I'm pl I'm not playing. I am not fucking playing. I am going to pull this fucking trigger. You know, uh, never mind. I am not a woman that takes pills to get attention. I am going to pull this trigger right now. I'm going to count to three. And I'm going to pull the trigger on three. One, two, three. Oh, Jesus Christ, who the fuck am I kidding? I'm a goddamn coward. I can't even do this right. Fuck it. You know what? Whatever. I am completely normal. I'm, I, there's nothing wrong with me. Okay, there's nothing wrong. Hold on. <sighs> I can't believe she did that. What in the fuck was she thinking? Oh, anyway. That's what being MGTOW is about, brothers. I just realized something. I just realized something. It's about not letting this type of stuff get to you. It's about not letting women get inside your head and destroy your mind. Don't worry about me, brothers. I will get over this. I'll get over this. I will get over this. I assure you. I, I assure you that I will get over this. I think I should probably go and eat some Cheetos and masturbate. I can't believe she actually claimed that she was trying to help my dignity and then she, and I lose all dignity. And I know some of you out there will claim, why did you record it? Why did you upload it in the first place? Because I have, I have integrity, unlike women. I have absolute integrity. So anyway, I'm going to go and watch these porn that I just downloaded from a torrent that I didn't pay for. So you guys have a nice day and remember to be human.